the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, you know, around here this time of the year can turn out to be quite pleasant, and that's exactly what the next couple of days are going to offer us weather-wise. Again, it's going to be very quiet around here. A matter of fact, you'll see here in just a moment, the only thing you'll have to worry about maybe are the cool mornings coming up around here. Outside right now, 75 degrees. We've made a nice rebound from the low and mid-40s where we started the day. Of course, the air is still very dry tonight, so with clear skies and calm winds, I do expect temperatures to fall off fairly efficiently once the sun goes down after about 7 o'clock here. Here's a look at your evening forecast. This is what you should expect. Temperatures to fall from the 70s down into the 60s underneath clear skies across the area. Well, right now, 75 here in Cincinnati, 74 in Dayton, Indianapolis at 76. One thing you'll notice is that as you head farther west, temperatures are a little bit warmer as you get out towards the Mississippi River, and some of that milder air will begin to build in here over the next couple of days. Here's what you should really begin to expect. Notice compared to 24 hours ago, temperatures are already running about 5 to 7 degrees warmer than they were on Sunday at this same time, and basically what's going to happen each day, we're going to add about about two or three degrees to the afternoon high, so that by the end of the week, we'll be up into the mid 80s. Although high pressure is going to remain in control, don't expect any rain across the area. And as I said, as that high slides off towards the east, we'll get into a little more of a southerly flow. And as that begins to happen, those temperatures will warm up each day. And even the nights, while still going to be on the cool side, they won't be quite as chilly as, let's say, they were last night. Here's a look at Futurecast, and no, there's nothing wrong with it. There's just nothing really to show you here. Hardly any clouds the next couple of days. It's all about sunshine and temperatures here as we go really through the end of the week. Again, this time of the year, it's not uncommon we get into these stretches of quiet, kind of dry, sunny weather. Here's a look at the jet stream. That's what we kind of keep our eye on this time of the year and over the next couple of days because right now we still have this big dip across the area. That's what's brought us the unseasonably cool weather. Well, you noticed if you remember on that temperature map, I showed you those warmer temperatures in the 80s back near the Mississippi River. Well, over the next couple of days, as this dip in the jet stream kind of lifts out, that warmer air will begin to spill in here, and that means we'll get back into some fairly warm and pleasant September weather. And at this point, humidity stays very low, so it is going to be, again, just about perfect for doing anything outdoors. And then by the end of the week, we'll begin to get some cooler weather in here, maybe by the weekend. And by cooler, I only mean 70. So no big drops in temperature coming this week, it appears, as of right now. So tonight, 51, the overnight low underneath clear skies. Uh, again, I think some of you will probably be down into the upper 40s, certainly some of the more rural locations, some of the valley areas. And then tomorrow, sunny, and again, picture perfect. Let's call it a high there in the upper 70s. Here's a look at your day planner. 55 as you walk out the door at 8 a.m., 74 by lunchtime. And tomorrow afternoon, we'll be climbing our way through the upper 70s. Look at this seven-day forecast. Where was all this sunshine this summer when we had those days upon days of wet and rainy weather? Well, it's finally here. It looks like outside of the chance for rain on Saturday, expect plenty of dry and again, very comfortable weather for doing anything outdoors really over the next five or six days. All right, Kev, thank you. Keeping your kids.